What's up my fellow fitness freaks and welcome to another workout and today we're going to work the upper body and we're going to use some weights but not for all the exercises. Um, mine are three kilogram each that's like roughly seven pounds I'd say a bit less maybe um, but you can go heavier lighter and yeah we don't need them for all the exercises so yeah let's get started with the warm-up um, we're doing like these knee lifts where we lift the knee bam bam or upper body is like not hinging forward right it's still straight so the pull comes out of the abs and the, um, the quads and yeah let's lift those knees to warm up a little bit tap tap and up. I know usually I start with a step tap, but I was thinking, no, let's get crazy today. Let's start with a knee lift. <laughs> okay, a few more here. Five, four, three, two, one, and leg curls. So we bring our bum, uh, or bum, not our feet towards our bum, not the other way around. Curl, curl, curl. And you can add the arms here to warm those up as we're gonna be working with them that comes in handy and yeah it's not a super long workout rather short so you can squeeze it in somewhere uh, when you don't have so much time but you still feel like working your arms a little bit now let's do some jumping jacks or this uh, lighter version of a jumping jack that i'm showing you right now which will be low impact but if you want to take it high impact, let's go and jump a bit. I just gotta make sure that I don't drop the mic. That seems to happen quite a lot when doing jumping jacks. The impact um, is kind of, yeah, getting it loose. And let's do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and we march in place adjust your ponytail if you have to and now come into a wide stance reach up reach down reach back up down and back we do a few here it doesn't matter if you get really low you don't even need to touch the ground this is just a warm-up move right oh i did one more there right I did one in the middle and then one back. I did down, middle, back. No, but it's just up, down, and back. Reach up, reach down, reach back. Up, down, back. Stay down here. And now let's tap the opposite foot with our hands. Tap, 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 tap. And the other arm goes up there. Up and up and up and up. Up and up and up and up and five, four, three, two, one. Come up, rotate those arms. Doesn't really matter which way because we're gonna switch it up in a second. Now, other way, rotate them back. While marching, you don't need to march though, you could just be standing if you prefer. Now, cross the legs in front, swing and back, cross, swing back, cross and swing back cross and swing back to get those arms warm too bap and bap and bap and yeah that was this for warm up if this is not enough you could just do some more jumping jacks dance to your favorite song do a few quads but if this was enough for you then let's grab those weights and we're gonna start with an arnold press right so we start kind of at the top of a curl here right top of a curl and then we turn out and we do a shoulder press and down back to the top of the curl right this is an arnold press it's a good exercise to train those rotator cuffs the shoulders so yeah it's pretty dope we're not going to do too many here um, if your arms are shaking too much or if you know that you're like super wobbly your weights are too heavy and you should take lighter weights you could even do this workout without any weight it won't be so hard then but just to get the idea of how to move your arms you know and then there's still the exercises in between that don't require weights right so 
Yes, nice. How does that feel? I can definitely feel that in my shoulders. So let's do five more. Five, four, three, and two, and last one. And down with the weights for a moment. March to the end of your mat. We're gonna do a down dog push up now, right? Not many breaks in this workout. It's short, I told you, but it's not super easy. So it's come into kind of a down dog or a complete down dog, but you can have your legs bend a bit better if it's better for you, but maybe try to have them straight, but bend is okay too. Important, align your arms with your back so they're straight and then flare a bit out with the elbows and down. Flare out and down. And you can do like a teeny tiny move here like this, or you can, go, uh, you can do it with a bigger range of motion. It's up to you, up to your fitness level. And yeah, let's do those. Down and up, down and up, down. In the beginning, they might feel super weird. So yeah, just like do tiny bounces maybe or do them really slow to get the notion of it. And the next time you're gonna do them, they're gonna feel, uh, they're gonna feel less weird, let's say. And let's do five more, five, four, three, two, and one, and back up, grab those weights, and now uh, we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises with weights, I love and hate it, reverse delt flies. So, we come in a like stance where our feet about hip width apart, our knees are slightly bent, we bend forward with the back, straight back, the lower you go the harder it gets, but always have a straight back, so if you you down here, this is not the exercise. You always have to have a straight back. Palms facing each other, weights together, and then we pinch our shoulder blades together while we pull up the weights. Pull up, right? This is a good exercise for our back, for our scapula uh, muscles, for the muscles that are around the scapulas, around the shoulder blades, and up the, the traps and stuff like that, up, and up, and if you feel like it's too hard, just stand up a bit, then it's gonna get easier, if you feel like it's too easy, deeper down, lower, and five, four, three, and two, and one, bounce down with those weights, and we're not done, we're not done with our back. As you can imagine, we come into a plank pose and we're going to do scapular push-ups. In a plank pose, we're not up here, not down here, we're nice and tight in the middle, everything is engaged, and then we pin our shoulder blades together and pull them apart, together and apart. Right? This is a really small range of motion. You don't bend your elbows at all. Um, but yeah, it should feel intense. I definitely feel those right away. And up and down and up. All the way together and apart. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two and one and come back up shake out those arms not much more to go grab those weights we're going for a lateral lift so a neutral stance slight bend in the knees slight bend teeny tiny bend in the elbows and up to shoulder height and down up towards the sides palms are facing you and you go up and down nice and controlled up and down, up and down. 
almost done with this workout. It's a really short run, I told you. But still, I'm out of breath here. So maybe you're too. Or maybe you're not. Maybe it's just me because I've been talking and I did some other workouts before. So maybe that's the reason why. Who knows? And as you can see, like since we're doing less reps, you could easily do that with like heavier weights if you're up to it. Um, it would be a good workout still. I mean, still, it would be an even better workout. That's what I want to say. <laughs> with, less weight, with less weights, it's still a good workout. With more weights, it's a better workout <laughs> or harder workout. If you can still maintain the poses and do the movements right, this is very important, right? It's always um, quantity, quality over quantity. So yeah, rather do less reps, rather take um, or less weight, less, less weight, which wouldn't be quantity, but like weight, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like rather dial it down a notch and do the exercise right than doing it wrong, because then you're going to train the wrong muscles or the muscles you're not intend to train or you're even going to injure yourself. So take care and let's do five more. <sighs> And four, and three, and two, and one. Bounce down with the weights. We don't need them no more. Last exercise before the stretches. So super quick workout, shoulder taps. When we do shoulder taps, we're in a plank pose again, right? In a nice plank pose, you can have your feet together, then it's gonna be harder. Because what we wanna do, we don't wanna like sway with our hips, right? Our hips have to stay as stable as possible. So usually it's better to have your feet a bit apart because then it's easier to keep uh, the balance or to just stay stable in the hips, not to wobble around with your hips because that's what we're aiming for. And then you're tapping your shoulders the way I am tapping mine here. Right? Nice. Let's do this. And if you're still wobbling, you can always like open up your feet more and then you're gonna feel um, more stabilized. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, into a down dog to stretch out those shoulders. Oh, really nice stretch, we're done. We're done with the workout. That was quick, right? Fast, fast but hard. I like it. Let's come down here onto our knees into a nice puppy pose to further stretch those shoulders. We bring our chest towards the floor, our bum stays up. Come back. Intertwine those fingers behind your back. Pull your arms up. You can get up again if you want to. You can even lean forward. Move those arms a bit from side to side to intensify the stretch. Back it up. Bring one arm in front of your chest, shoulder down, and pull the arm towards your chest with the other arm to feel a nice stretch in your shoulder. Feels really nice. And the other way, the other arm, I mean. That was quick, right? Quick, but still good. To squeeze it in anytime. Shake out, hold your head to one side. And to the other side. Of course, you can always hold those stretches as long as you like. Last thing here, intertwine your fingers, arms up to one side, to the other. Ah, so nice. Again, one side and the other. Ah, and we're done. Thank you for working out with me. Really quick workout. I hope you did like it. If you did, don't forget to hit like, to subscribe, and I hope I'll be seeing you on the next one. Bye.